All right, let's talk about choosing a partition key. This is super, super, super important uh, to Cosmos DB. Um, so the idea is that a partition key is uh, made up of two components, the partition key path and the partition key value. So the idea is that let's consider uh, a document uh, or uh, a key value that we need to try to figure out what our partition key path would be. So we have user ID Andrew works for Microsoft. So in this case, we're trying to find something that is um, uh, like a unique identifier for that item. And so I would say a user ID would be that thing there. So in this case, our partition key path would be forward slash user ID. Um, so, you know, that would be part one of it. Um, and so the partition key path accepts numerical or underscore characters. You can also use nested objects by using the standard path notation of forward slash. So that helps there. Um, and so an example here would be forward slash ID, or we do forward slash user ID. Uh, the second part of it is the value. So the partition key value can be either a string or numeric types. And so you can see in our example, it is a string, so that's gonna be accepted. Uh, your partition key for all containers should be a property that has a value which does not change. Uh, you can't change the value of a property if it's your partition key a property that should have a wide range of possible values. That's why we said user ID because it's gonna be pretty unique uh, per per person, whereas works for, you're gonna have a bunch of groups of that. Like there might be a lot of people who work for Microsoft, so it's not as unique. Um, spread request units is something that's important, RUs. These are consumption and data storage that will be evenly across all the logical partitions. This ensures uh, even RU consumption and storage distribution across your physical partitions. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of um, how to choose a partition key. But now we'll talk about unique keys.